Hello, John. Are you listening? Yeah, are you yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's really nice to speak to you. Welcome to Channel One. So first of all, tell us about your new book, the post-punk uh, fans in uh, scene. Yeah, well, uh, well I've just, just done uh, two books this year. The first one was an all-history of Manchester music, 1979 to uh, 96, basically the punk era, yeah. since the end of Oasis. And we've just got a new book out, comes out in three weeks. It's about a scene in the mid-80s in the UK, like mm-hmm. a really noisy underground scene, which the band I was in the time called Membrane was involved in. We've got 40 bands that is like really over the top, stored and like noisy music, it was a cool scene and uh, yeah. a, a really interesting story, it's just a political backdrop to it because the band's all sports of mine and tribe, the tribe of all the factories in Britain, there's a lot of anger and frustration. So it came out of punk, but uh, the music was uh, more avant-garde, more weirder, more over the top. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I just wrote a book on it, it yeah. turned out to be like 500 page, like a massive like doorstopper book. Okay, and John, uh, what about uh, Spitz the Bell on the Mercury Award? So, no bad for Lassies or Las Vegas or the Horrors, but Spitz the Bell, can you tell us your uh, opinion about? She's a really great artist, I think. I, I, I was glad she won it, really. I, I, thought, uh, I, thought, I thought this year they had a lot of good entries. What bothers me about the Mercury Awards, it's very um, indie music orientated. You don't know, there's no way of punk bands to get there or anybody, or a rock band. Yeah. Um, well, I, mean, I, I don't have a problem with the band that can actually get in there, I just wish there were one or two more noisier bands in there. I, th- I think it's great she won because I think those awards don't really mean anything really, but if you can put the spotlight on a young artist, an emerging artist, yeah. that's, that's good because it's, it seems like loads of people check her record out now, so it kind of serves a purpose. Mm-hmm. Giving that award to something like Glass Vegas it doesn't have much point because Glass Vegas already got, everyone yeah. knows about them now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, uh, even though their record's good than that, and it's great the guy looks like Joe Sutherland, which is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's good to get, like, she only sold 3,000 records before, she's going to sell 30,000 this week. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's a good record as well, it's, yeah. the words are funny, clever, it's a really good pop record. Yeah. John, any new project maybe with uh, Goldblade? Any new album? Yeah, we're, all, we're, yeah. All, we're on tour in the autumn. I'm, I'm actually playing today, we mm-hmm. played a punk festival in uh, Durham. We just played about an hour ago. Yeah. And that was really fantastic. Pretty wild. Oh, that's exciting. Bit going on. Mm-hmm. We're just going to tour through the autumn. We've got, we, we've got a lot of interest around the world, but in different countries. Uh, we'll do an album next year. Yeah, there's loads of stuff going on. Okay, John, thank you very much for your time. Okay? Uh, okay, oh, thanks for that. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you again. We'll be in contact anyway. Thank you, thanks very much. Okay, me too. Bye bye.